units responding to the physical rescue reports a vehicle into a building. And Hechi has remained in critical condition since crashing her vehicle into a Los Angeles residence on Friday, according to a new representative for the actress. According to Deadline, 59 firefighters were called to the scene to fight the fire caused by the accident, which left Hechi's car fully inside the Mar Vista home she crashed into. It took firefighters over an hour to control the flames and rescue Hechi from the wreckage. After her rescue, Hechi was reportedly able to communicate, but lost consciousness soon after. Earlier Monday, CNN reported that Hechi is under investigation for misdemeanor DUI and hit and run, according to LAPD officer Annie Hernandez. Investigators obtained a warrant for a blood draw on the day of the incident. They are still awaiting those results, Hernandez said. Once the investigation is complete, the case will be referred to the LA City Attorney's Office, Hernandez added. And Hechi's representative told CNN she has not been able to meet with investigators yet as a result of her injuries. Meantime, friends of the woman whose home was destroyed in the crash say she narrowly escaped physical harm. Lynn Michiel was inside her residence where Hechi crashed and fire broke out, officials told CNN. Neighbors John and Jennifer Durand have started a GoFundMe for Michiel to help her rebuild her life. In the description for the fundraiser, the Durand state that Michiel lost everything, except for a few damaged sentimental belongings. Lynn lives with her beautiful pups Bree and Ruban, and Tortoise Marley in the Mar Vista home that was destroyed this week by a car driving into the home at a high rate of speed, catching the house on fire, the GoFundMe states. Lynn and her family very narrowly escaped physical harm, and for that we are very, very grateful. The home, however, was completely burned. Lynn Michiel is shown in a photo seen on a GoFundMe page started by her friends. She lost her home in a fire after a car driven by and Hetchy crashed into the residence. Roy Morgan, another neighbor of Michiel, told that Hetchy's car stopped about two feet away from where she was sitting. She was pretty lucky, Morgan said of Michiel. She's in shock, it still hasn't hit her yet. There's nothing left in the house. Everything was ruined. Lynn lost her entire lifetime of possessions, mementos, all equipment for her business, the GoFundMe states. With firefighters' help, she was able to pull a few damaged sentimental belongings from the wreckage. Everything else is gone.